So um, here we are. I'm just going to talk you through how you access maps um, and download GIS data from Digimap, um, which is the online service um, which is accessible to um, a lot of academic institutions um, such as Plumpton. Um, as they have a subscription service. Um, I'm just going to search um, for the Digimap um, website. Uh, and then we can go straight to this. And this is something you could do at home. And that's not the right website. So here we go, it's Digimap. And it's an ordnance survey collection of data and various other things. Uh, first thing we need to do is log in. So once we log in here, it's asking for the name of the institution. So you should be able to find Plumpton. There you go, Plumpton College. Um, select that and then click continue and it will ask you to sign in. So you just will sign in with your usual um, college uh, sign in login credentials. So I'm just going to sign myself in. And it should then take us back to the Digimap welcome screen. Um, and if we're logged in correctly, we should notice at the top here that it says I'm logged in. Um, various different things we can download here, but most of the time we're going to be looking at downloading Ordnance Survey maps. Um, but we also, there is potential to access historic maps too. Um, and depending on the subscription service, there are other options to download uh, geology and, and other bits of mapping spatial data. Um, but for this, this example, we're going to look at downloading the Ordnance Survey maps as base maps. Um, so anyway, uh, the first thing I need to do is go to this, this option here, download data. Um, and if it's the first time you've done this, um, it will just ask you to accept the license agreement and then it should take you through to this window uh, where we now choose a location. Uh, so I'm going to just use the search tool up here. And then it will just go through and search. So I'm going to just choose, just as an example, Plumpton East Sussex. Just close that window. Um, I can pan around the map just by clicking on it a bit like you would do in a Google map. Or we can zoom in and out as well over here. Um, so that we can then start to decide the area of map that we actually might want to download and select. Um, We've got various tools over here. Um, the easiest way is to just literally click the select all visible, which will completely select the whole area that we can see there. Um, the alternative is to actually drag a box. So I can drag a box and it will only download the area that I've dragged the box for. But I tend to just kind of select all visible just because it's an easier way to do it. So it depends on the area that you're trying to download maps for. Um, so we make a selection first and then over on the left hand side here uh, we've got various different maps that we can actually choose to download. Um, and again in this example I'm going to be looking at downloading some backdrop mapping. Um, I'm going to be looking at some raster data that I would like to download. Um, and with this, um, this little web application we've got the option to download multiple maps of different scales all at the same time. Um, for that particular location that we've selected. So I'm going to say I'd like to download the 1 to 10,000 map um, and also the 1 to 25,000 map as well for that location. Once I make that selection and I have drawn this area, the green add to basket um, appears and flashes down in the bottom left hand corner. Um, all I'm going to do now is simply select that um, and it will now bring up this menu which is basically my basket telling me the maps that I've chosen to download. It's telling me the file format that I, I am I'm going to be downloading them in. It gives me the option to remove them. Um, and all I have to do here is just put a name for the file download, which can be anything you like at all. So I'm just going to call it Plumpton in this example. Um, and I noticed down the bottom here that what it's going to do is it's going to send me an email confirmation. Um, and this will be the email that you registered when you first um, registered with Digimap. Um, so it's going to send me an email registered. So I'm going to just click that. 
So it's now telling me to, that the order's been submitted. I click OK. Um, and that is basically the process uh, of choosing an area and choosing the maps that you'd like to download on Digimap. Um, the next step will be um, opening up the emails that get sent to you. And within the second email, there will be a hyperlink um, to actually go and download the actual map files, which will be zipped up. Um, we're going to look at unzipping files in the uh, next video.